flight delays on CCD Continent, New Jersey's Newark Airport. Smoke from Canadian wildfires also still causing visibility problems along with air quality issues in some areas. More than 500 fires burning. No holiday weekend for some hotel managers in California after hotel workers went on strike in search of higher pay, more affordable health care, and better working conditions. Carla Mack sent this in. Check this out. I cropped it. Um, anyways, after I got done with it, it's right there. Okay. Now I went to the maximizer. Let's see if I can find this picture. Maximize it. Notice, uh, I call this a cherry on top. Supposedly the sun with the streak going through the circle, this red object, and this little thing down here. A lot of this is screen marks, I think, or from the windshield. Um, so by playing around, I cleared a lot of it up. I don't think there are UFOs or nothing from the original. Um, if you really check this out, I'll put through some different filters. You got something right there, small moon or something. You got this red object with the hole in it and the light going through it, which is just amazing. Um, pretty incredible picture. This is from Carla Max. Look at that light down there. You okay, Rosie? My dog's not feeling well. Here we go. Um, that's it. Awesome capture. It's very weird. I'll put this up in a minute. Thank you, Carla Max.
when you're a kid, yeah, you, I'm talking to you who's watching this, did you ever do a picture in a picture? Now watch. I'm going to do simple filter. Okay, I'm going to do a simple filter on it. I did have it all planned out, but it didn't work out. So I'm going to do it in real time. Bring the shadow down. Let's bring the contrast way up. Okay. Bring the contrast way up. The vibrance is a little bit. Give it that darker clarity a lot. Now you're starting to see stuff. If you're not, your imagination's froze. Now, some of this stuff you don't need an imagination because what you're seeing is actually some kind of blue beam or something. Do not know. Bring the exposure down a little bit. I'm going to start going to these areas. Now I'm going to bring um, clarity down, get rid of those boxes. I'm going to bring the noise up, get rid of those boxes. I'm going to bring it back out. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some reduced noise still. This stuff right here is noise. Trying to reduce it without harming the picture at all. I want to see the edges of the picture. Okay. I'm going to take the sharpness and add that. I don't use too much sharpness because it will blur the edges a little bit too much. Anyways, this is what I do, folks. Um, see the square? The square and try to tighten them. Sometimes you can't. So. A lot of times on the clarity, I bring it down, it gets rid of the boxes. I said, this is sharpness, it will make those boxes bad. Clarity sometimes will clear the boxes up on the reverse. So it's not as clear, but it's more sharper. So as I, I look around this thing, now, I know everybody's apt to look at the ship on top. See the ship? And that's all cool and everything, but what is this ship? What, what's underneath it? Look at this billowing, crazy, insane, kind of greenish stuff there and there. What's really going on? Looks like an explosion. Looks like faces hidden in the clouds. Um, you can't make this stuff up. This is just unreal. And you try to get it just right so it doesn't look, you know, garbage. Um, but as I do this, your eyes will adjust. And you'll see what you see. Let me see. Exposure down. Yeah, they don't have... So what's going on? Is this on top of a volcano? I don't think so. Um, this is just a really weird cloud. I see that right there. I'll show you what I see. I see an eyeball earlier. Clouds will do that with your imagination too. You have a name for it. You'll see what you want to see. You'll see what you're looking for. That's how clouds do you. You don't know what's real, what's fake. Nowadays, look at this girl right here. I see this girl. Let's, let's, let's try to clear her up. And Dorothy standing in the sky. There's something here coming down. That's really clear that's a girl. Like a girl standing in the clouds, right? So as you look at it, like this right here actually looks like a UFO. 
I've seen that without all the filters. But this right here, the square, is and a little there's something else with it. The little circle and the little black circle. But look how it makes a square. Now I don't, I'm not saying anything is anything. I'm just showing you how I look for stuff. And you do see strange. This is a turkey leg, you know. I'm just joking. It looks like a turkey leg. But you, you know, don't take don't take yourself so serious that you let something like this scare you. Even though there is a massive ship on top. I mean, you know, what could I say? What's coming out of the ship? You got me. Are they giants jumping down to the earth? Hey, if they shake it, I guess there is. Look at the highlights around these clouds. Like just very strange highlights. Just a quick video to throw it up there and say, everybody on Facebook, I love you. If you see my uh, if you see my free ebook giveaway, sign up for it. It's 365 pages of surviving terrorism, survival for terrorism in cities. We're about to ex maybe experience some terrorism in cities. What's going on, in Chicago? Things going on in Ohio. Anyways, just want to say hi and show you weirdness. Um, I like that top ship. If that's a ship, if that's a volcano, let me know. And who put this out? Let me see here. Here we go. Make sure I get the names on these. Here you go. Karen Gibbons. Welcome to the crazy clan channel we have here. You might have been here for years. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, great capture. And I'll let you guys go back to your day. Bye.